Alright guys, so I'm over here with the FG um, Model Sports. Uh, this is the chassis 410. So this is the sports line 410, right? Um, so I'm, I'm over here, I'm looking at this pipe. Um, this pipe online, almost getting to $500, not including shipping taxes so almost around five hundred dollars almost not close but there now, just the pipe itself it's a zamba dmc 10 1504 8 so this is supposed to be top of the line pipe um which is installed on this cheap engine now like i said before guys i'm working i'm this close to working on getting a Boat alone engine in here. Now with this pipe, who knows what this thing could do, right? This is not the hardcore, you know, with the front disc brakes model. That's gonna be the um that's gonna be beginner's um model, which will be a little bit cheaper than the other guys. We're looking at a thousand for this chassis, give or take a thousand. Um, but you already have uh, okay, so here it, how it works, guys. Um, when we're talking about the FG models, you have the challenge model, which is the beginner, which is that's what this chassis is. Then you have the sports line model, which is the one that has the front brake lines, adds all the little bit bells and whistles. Then you have the evil line on chassis, right, which has everything. It has aluminum parts. Uh, it has a better, bigger engine. Um, it has everything. Now that thing, he, it, it, that thing is extreme. We're looking. That one goes for fifteen hundred. The sports line goes for twelve hundred. These challenge lines, they go for a thousand, a thousand, around nine hundred ninety-nine, a thousand. But. Mind you, mines came with a Zamba pipe, which is another four something. Like I said, around four ninety, around five hundred. So we're looking at a good amount already invested on this chassis on its own. And yeah, um, yeah. So yeah, you could say I got the cheaper version of them, but with some um, one or two upgrades on it. Good amount. We already have fifteen hundred already. Let me let me put you guys in here. And I've been looking at these cars because, like I said, I've been I, I, I'm I'm an on road dude, guys. I love on road cars. All right? that's my that's my that's my um that's my 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 sugar right there. That's what I love the most. On road cars is my stuff. That's what I love. I I I like all my RC cars, but for some reason, the on road stuff is like my go to. Hold on, guys. I'm over here. A Sunday bore. I figure I will talk a little bit of this thing and what I I uh, found out about this this um FG's models. Uh, I'm trying to put this back to where it was. So when I got it, this little rubber piece was missing. Now I started investigating this pipe, and this comes in the kit. All this comes in the kit, right? This all this stuff comes with the kit, right? Oh, sorry. So all this stuff comes with the kit. It's a pretty clean setup, guys. It's, I've never seen a setup this clean. This is a clean setup. Real nice. This is meant for the FG chassis. So, of course, it's going to fit perfect, right? Um, Another, but we're going to work. I'm going to work on getting this thing fixed up, right? Another upgrade that I want to do, and I'm looking into getting this. Uh, I'm working and getting a metal, a steel spur gear. This is plastic. Um. Would it hold up to more power once I put more power in this thing? I don't know if it's going to hold up to more power. I mean, it's already holding up to the power this this engine is giving it with a upgraded pipe. Because normally this thing will come with a little small, little stubby little pipe that comes out here. Straight pipe. You know how it is with the, with the um, RTR kits. So, this spur gear, I don't know. I don't know. If, I'm going to look and see if I can find a... a a steel spur gear for this thing. I would like to do that. Now I'm also going to work. I mean, can we can we fix the dip? Can we put 
heavier diff fluid on this thing for better grip. I mean, it feels like it doesn't have anything in it. Feels real light. Now I'm I'm thinking what how the diff looks in here. How would the diff look? I'm thinking about getting in this thing, taking out the diff, and putting a heavier diff fluid in there. It feels like there's nothing there. That's, that would be another upgrade that I would like to work on is getting into that diff. So as you guys can see, it looks like it's easy accessible. So, um, you know, it looks like just by, just by taking off these screws, I might be able to just get in there. I'm not sure. Um, I don't have the owner's manual to this thing. So maybe I could get it online, hopefully. I'm thinking about take this off. Boom, boom, boom. Might be able to get into that diff. I'm not sure. Doesn't look like there's nothing else I have to do. Um, looks like an easy in and out. Maybe taking out the the shock tower. Maybe. I don't know. But definitely I could feel like there's nothing in there. Like, I mean, can you can you put a can you can you really add diff fluid to this thing? That's my question. Can you? That's a big diff right there. Because I know the other cars you could add diff um, fluid to the, to the diff, right? You could do that. And the easy, the great part about it is there's only rear. So this is easier to do. It's not that hard. So I would definitely like to get into that diff, put something heavier for better, better grip. I think if I do that, we could definitely put a lot of power on, on that diff just a little bit more um other than that i'm gonna go ahead i just wanted to make a quick little video of my plans with this thing this thing yeah it's a simple chassis guys it's not the evo it's not the competition this is the simple fg sport line 401 i think it's the 4010 401 it's the simplest one with a 26 cc engine and if this if this works out for me, you guys will be seeing a borderline engine in here. And I will be making a video on that when I install that borderline engine. But for now, let's see how much power can can this thing does this thing have with this little cheap 26 c Alright, let's see how much power this little guy has with this thing. Um not little guy, big on road car. Um I'm loving this. I'm loving this car, guys. I'm really loving this thing. Now it looks like you could actually put a front diff in here because there's a space for it. Um, yeah, basically, yeah, basically there is a space for it. You could definitely do the fronts if you wanted to. Um, for sure, looks like you could because there's some. Yeah, I think you could. Um, maybe not, maybe, uh, but definitely you could buy the front diff case. It puts uh, diff in the front. But I think uh, it wouldn't work because you got all this in the way. This is meant for rear. You could probably convert it. Who knows? Um, but definitely, I would love to get into the, the rear of this thing. And I think I'm going to do that today, later on. When I don't I don't think I, I don't know what I'm going to do today. But I would definitely like to get into that rear and find out a little bit more about this, this, this model. Maybe there's a manual in, in somewhere I could get like an owner's manual for it. Maybe. I just, I just don't feel like there's any fluid in there. Like it's just grease. And if that's the case, I would like to get some, some grease in there. I would like to get some grease in there, to be honest. Definitely upgrade the, the spur gear to steel. I would love to do that. I mean, it seems like a tough spur gear. I mean, as long as you align it, no, there's, I don't think there's a way to really mess it up, to be honest, guys. I don't think there is a way to really mess it up. I don't think there is. I ain't going to lie to you guys. I think that's pretty much... You can't probably set it up. Maybe you could put a smaller... You could definitely put a bigger pinion in, in smaller spur gear. This is a 42... Could definitely add less and put a bigger for more speed, but I think I don't know how many spur how many teeth is this, and if you really cannot adjust it, I don't think you can. Now nah, this is set up like that because you know how the engine connects to this, so 
the engine connects to this and that's it. The only way to do that is if I add a, I put a smaller spur gear and add a bigger pinion for that more speed. So for now, we're going to leave it like that, guys. I'm going to test it out the way this is because I will be upgrading this thing. Like I said, I do want to upgrade this chassis. I will be upgrading it and we will be talking a lot more about this on road car. Uh, don't worry, guys. I will be working on. Let me show. Let me show you guys the chassis right now. Hold on. Let me uh, get the chassis real quick. Let me show introduce you guys to the project that I'm going to be working on. Like I said, this is the. Mantis, Kyosho Mantis, as you guys can see, it needs a couple things, um, needs a, needs a lot of things, it needs a, I already have a body for it, I ain't worried about the body, does needs to be cleaned up, needs a receiver, needs a, uh, a transmitter, you know, just needs a receiver, needs servos, front and, and throttle and steering, yeah, this is gonna be an issue right there, guys, because I don't have that piece that goes in there, but we're working on custom making, a. a uh, steering servo for that it's just not going to be a this it's not going to have a steering um saver in it that's all it's just going to be straight steering servo and that's it um i think we should we could be we will be okay i added this to the only thing i did was this because the pipe as you guys can see is just spilling up all the fluid there um there you go guys this is the future project this is what one uh, needs a, needs some work. Needs some work. That's for sure. It does need some work. Um, it doesn't have the shocks in the front, right here, as you guys can see. But it does have shocks in the back. And I know, um, I know there's videos on this thing. There's definitely a nice video, detailed video. This is not going to be as detailed as my bro from another another mother A two R C. It's not going to be as detailed as his video because if you guys want to check out details, he went all out on this thing. He went, he had, he had two of them. One of them he kept stock. This is definitely going to try to be a, as stock as possible, not as his stuff. He, he did a great video on this model. Um, so if you guys want to see, check out his channel, A2RC, check out his uh, Mantis. He did a great video. Like I, I, like I said, I'm doing this because that's what people chose. And we're going to do it. We're going to do it. I really wanted to work on a different project, but definitely I'm going to try to knock this one out the park and work on the real project that I want to work on. Not just this guy right here. <laughs> um, yeah, not just... This guy, which is a project I'm really into. Like, I really want to take, dedicate some time to this on-road chassis. I really want to. But the FW02, the FW03s, I, I, I want to work on those guys. And you guys will be seeing um, videos on those guys, too. But, you know, you guys chosen. We're going to work on the um, Mantis, you know. Uh, like I said, we're going to need some servos, um, steering servos, um, throttle servo. Now... A2RC, I looked everywhere for the steaming saver, for the steaming um, saver servers. Cannot find this thing. So like I said, I'm going to get rid of it, and we're just going to go with something else there. I figure uh, this is not going to be a chassis that I'm going to beat up on. This is going to be a, a, a something that I'm going to have on my shelf, a nice body. Let me show you guys the body we're going with for this chassis. Let me show you guys real quick. I'm not trying to make this video too long. I'm gonna try to go with the theme Japanese theme with this thing, um, Tokyo type of drift, drift feel to it. So we're gonna go with this one. All right, we're gonna go with this drift body, which looks awesome. I think it's gonna look, it's gonna look perfect on this thing. Um, yeah, this is what we're looking. This is what we're going for. I think. Uh, hold on. Let me see if we can get this. You know, that's what we look. That's what we're going for right now. I think it's going to look pretty sweet, guys. 
Once I set up this, uh, put the whole body holes in there, I think we could leave the fronts okay like this. There's some adjustment, like we're going to get rid of some of the fenders in the front and leave the fenders in the back. This is a used body, of course, guys. It's not going to be perfect, but yeah, we're going to leave the fenders in the back. Well, I'm missing a fender. Maybe I can make my own fender. Maybe. If I take one of these, maybe we can make one. I don't know how. Or if not, I'll just go ahead and take out this fender and leave it like that. Just, you know, adjust it. I think we can make it happen. You know, we just got to align it a little bit better. Um, definitely, you know, get the back set up. The fenders are coming off. I think we could use some tape, um, body tape, or crazy glue and glue this together. So that's the that's going to be the plan, guys. That's going to be the, the idea of the Mantis. We're going to use our body for it. It just goes perfect with that, um, with the chassis itself. It goes perfect with it. I think it's going to be neat. And that's going to be a nice little, um, nice little, um, I think it's going to be a beautiful body for it. It just goes with it, guys. I think it just goes with it. I'll be honest with you guys. Look at that. It's just going to look neat, you know? It's going to have that Tokyo Drift feel to it, so... It's gonna be like that anime. I forgot what this was it called with the Toyota Celica, the 80, 83 or 80, I think it's, I don't know. I don't remember. It was eighty three or eighty. Yeah, but it's gonna have that feel to it from that time, from that era. Uh, so yeah, that's that's what chat. That's what that chassis is going to use, and that's it. I don't have the original body to it, so this is how I got it. I got this thing, guys, for a for a hundred bucks. The engine is still good. The engine does run, so. It did run. Now, how did it run? I was able to just crank it for a couple seconds. It cranked up. I just put a little bit of fuel in it, and she did crank up. So the engine does work. Uh, what I did was I used a rotor start, my bump bots, and I put it in there, and that was it. Just for a second, um, I am missing a uh, pull start for it. I'm, I'm going to look in to see what can I use, what type of pull start can I use on it. That's easy, simple. It's not. Uh, it's not gonna be hard to just find a cheap little pull start, a one-way bearing, and that's it. It's really not gonna be a, a a a hard thing to find. All right, guys. So we'll cut this video short. Just wanted to show you guys the future projects, and there's many more, guys. A lot more. Trust me. This is nothing compared to everything I have. Let me show you guys. Um, a little bit. Of, like I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm. This I'm not gonna record. I'm just. I'm trying to figure out. Where can I put this at? And that's it. And then maybe I'll make a video on getting into that diff. I don't know. I'm going to see what's in there. What can you put in there? Um, so future projects, guys. I have a lot of them. So I got, we have this one that we have not worked on. I have not touched this one. This one still needs some work. It just has the body. But we have not seen nothing on that one. This one is another one that I have to work on. Um... We still haven't worked on this one. That's a Serpent um, um, 748, which is brand new. We still got some three or four more Serpents in there that we don't know nothing about and have not checked. All right, guys. Let me show you guys what we're working at. Uh, we already worked on that one. Y'all yeah, see a video on that one soon. Um, she's ready to go. We have to work on that one right there. Need some, some, I think I'm going to put another pipe on that one. That's going to be another project. We have these Kyoshos here. Which are amazing. I'm not gonna show you too much details on this, but that's they were on the list to be chosen to work on next. You guys chose the mantis, so but that's gonna stay there. This guy, this is the body to the on road, the FG, which is I'm working on getting the sticker sheet for that, make it look a little bit more detailed. Um, this guy right here for sure needs some more tuning. You saw that one. Also, we have Yes, sir. Uh, Duratrex Maximum ST. Yep. That's another project in the future we're going to work on. That one don't need that much. Maybe not. So I got to go ahead and load up on a couple of more stuff that I need for these things. Right? We will be working on a lot of stuff here, guys. There's a lot of projects. Now, a lot of stuff will take its time because I, it's summertime. I do want to run Marcy's. I do want to have fun. I'm not going to dedicate all this time to 
fixing our seeds. No, no, we're going to leave that for the winter. We're going to leave that for when it cools down and starts going. Right now, my main focus is running the cars that are ready to go right now. Don't get me wrong. This guy will be worked on. It, it, right there. It will be worked on. It just right now, I want to dedicate some time to the ones that are already good to go. The ones that are ready to roll. And then once the temperature cools down and it gets cold, then we'll work on all those projects that I have, which is a lot of them. I've gotten, to, uh, look, man, we got, we got drones, drones that we haven't worked on yet. Um, then that I want to do stuff with special things with those drones. Yeah, guys, like I said, no hate to electrics. I love my electrics. I got another electric on road car right there. You see that one right there? That one right there. That's another car I want to work on. That's another uh, on road car. That's a, that's a team associated that I want to work on. You guys maybe seen a video on that one, but I want to put more more work to that one. I want to see if I can upgrade the engine, the motor on it, put a little bit more power to it, see how fast that thing could go. Uh, another project that I want to work on, and, and you know what? This guy right here, the Ofna DM1. I still want to paint that body. She is set. It is ready. I just want to paint the body. I don't want to beat up the body. I want to keep it. Another one, the Ofna Vendetta. Now, you guys have not seen this thing running, but there's a reason why. For some odd reason, when it's hot outside, like it's been hot, she overheats. Even on two cells, it overheats. I don't know. I've been thinking of inv investing on a eight, 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 um, eight max um, hobby wing system. Maybe it'll work better than that crappy system that it has, that crappy ESC system that it has. Maybe it'll work better. Yes, guys. This guy's um, poop today. No, I haven't pooped today. But basically, yeah. This is the shirt I wear in my house. Yeah, I poop every once in a while. Everybody poops. I poop. Yeah, hell yeah, I poop. Um, especially, especially when you start, um, when you for some reason, when you go to the gym and you're eating and you're drinking your protein, you're, you're eating protein meat and you're eating all that stuff that you need to eat to build up. Um, yeah, you start pooping. So pretty much, yeah. But yeah, um, yeah, don't worry about me. I'm just talking crap right now. All right. So yeah, like I said, guys, I got a lot of stuff that I want to work on. But for now, I want to dedicate time on the RCs that are running. The RCs that um, I want to have fun. So if you guys don't see videos I'm working on, on on these cars, it's because I'm trying to enjoy it. Man, I got I got a lot of on road. Like I said, I got a lot on road cars. I got, look at this guy right here. You see that guy? That guy got fixed and hasn't been run yet. I want to run it. I want to see what it does. I want to run a couple of these RC cars that I have. Look, this guy right here hasn't been broken in yet. It's just been sitting there. So I got a lot of stuff that I got to dedicate time to, guys. Um, but I still want to have fun. I want to have fun. I want to enjoy my summer. I want to enjoy the, the time that I have off. I took a week off, so you ain't going to see nothing for a while. You're going to see this video and another video, but for a while, you ain't going to see no videos for a while. I, I want to dedicate some time to, to having fun, to, to do my thing, all right, guys? So, oh, another car that I want to work on. I got to get paint for that guy right there, my beautiful, my amazing LST2. I want to get that thing painted, looking beautiful. Um, <laughs> look what I did with this guy. I went ahead and I just chromed out the back. Just makes it look better. Yeah, just makes it look. You can't find the body because Chino has them. Chino's hogging all the bodies. So yeah, I just went ahead and I chromed out the back. Just makes it look better. Um, but yeah, we're gonna be working on some of these cars, but not right now. I want to dedicate some time. Look at this thing. I noticed one thing about this. This car is using the GRP X3, the XS3. Pretty nice. Tell you what, guys, these things are real sticky when they're not filled with dirt. Now, there's a reason why this is like that because it's in my other side of the of the, of the um, basement, which is concrete. But yeah, sorry guys, I just want to go ahead and, like I said, dedicate some time to my fun time, and then we'll work on um, on. The, I still want to get. That's another car that I haven't really finished working on, and it, you know, last time it was giving me diff issues, and then I fixed it. So I thought, I don't know. And I haven't used it since. So we have not. That's another one I got to put that. And this thing is complete. It's just installing that under plate. And she is show show quality. Once I do that, it is show quality. It is 100% show quality. But yeah. Um, 
Another car I have not run. You guys never seen that. And, I, and the reason why I seen people have done videos on this. The only difference on mines is I've done a couple little different stuff to it that nobody has done. And I've done it. So mines might not be the same as the other folks out there. That one might be even faster than what other folks have on YouTube. So mine's definitely different. There's something different on, on it that I did to it. Um, yeah. And it's pretty easy to do but i just went ahead and, and i did it and i just noticed a big difference compared to other people videos we'll talk about that later on um you know guys this channel is about keeping them brapalicious and keeping them running right and keeping them zapalicious i got a couple electric projects i gotta work on i got those two that i gotta work on we'll do something one of them is a minor thing the other one i need a lot of work too i gotta you know the, that one right there, that little truck right there, that thing right there is going to be for my visitors. I'm going to hook it up, and that's going to be for people that never use the RC car. That's what they're going to use. They're not touching my stuff. <laughs> that will be the beater right there for other people that want to go ahead and use the RC car. All right, guys. Well, I'll be out. Um, there will be two videos out on, on YouTube. And, uh, yeah, take it easy, folks. See ya. Peace out. Rarismo. Your best friend in these YouTube streets. Just enjoy my day off. And yeah. Alright guys. Love ya. Take care. Hey guys. So there's a add-on to this. Look at this. I, I was able to get in. It says not too hard. Take off a couple screws here and there. Um, Take out the, um, the sway bar. Boom, boom, boom. Which I'm thinking about getting another sway bar for the front. Like I said, I am going to be upgrading this thing. Um, Took up one shock. I was able to get it out. And got to this guy. Now, check this out, guys. This is just a little bucket. And you put... So, no diff oil. This is grease. Um, not much grease in there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to stuff this thing with grease. So, that way it's more protected. Um, so, I'm going to stuff this thing with grease. A little bit more grease than what it has. I think that's just not enough. But, yeah. That's the gears. That's the spider gears to a uh, fifth scale FG sports line. 510 model. I just found out this is the 510 model. The instruction on this thing is kind of non-existent. It just shows you how everything goes, but no instructions uh, 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 at all. Nothing. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put this guy, put some grease in it. More grease than what this has. And we're going to put it right back in there. Uh, the idea is to have definitely more grease than what this has. That's definitely not enough grease. I think we could go a little bit more with it. And it's using red Loctite. We'll put um, orange Loctite or red Loctite again um, to keep it from moving. But yeah, just wanted to throw this in the uh, end of the video real quick. I did get into the diff. And that's it. That's all you get on a fifth scale RC car. I guess not all of them, but yeah. On this brand, the FG brands, that's what you get. All right, guys, take it easy. Another thing, guys. Uh, these... Uh, Screws are not hex screws. They're not. I already installed that. That feels way better now with that grease in there. They're different. See that? This is what this unit is using. I forgot what these are called. Um, but yeah, that's that's what it's using. It's not using hex screws at all anywhere on this chassis. It's not using hex screws anywhere on this chassis. So, um, good thing I have the uh, stuff for it. So. It's already back in there. As you can see, the, the grease is in there. Um, right there. So we put lock, red Loctite on the screws to keep it from ever coming out. Um, so, yeah, we should be good. Um, just got to remember, I I put red heads. The good thing is I was able to I have the right screws to take it off because now it would have stripped. So we got the red Loctite uh, going on with that. So if it if it had red Loctite in the beginning in the beginning, then we're gonna put red Loctite in, in there, right? But now it just feels way better. It feels like it has something in there protecting those gears. Back then it felt like there was nothing in there, which basically was nothing. Now it feels like it was. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put this guy back in here, mount everything back up, and we should be good. Look at that engine. You could tell how new it is. I mean, it looks new. It looks real nice. Look at that. Now that we're looking at it from behind, it looks pretty cool. Yeah. All right, guys, let's put this thing back.